Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to configure HA proxy server in Linux. HA proxy server is used for higher availabilities of your server. Suppose we have two servers. If one gets down, the request will be fulfilled by another server. This is how the HA proxy works. So uh, let's start the let's start configuring the HA proxy. This is my server one. This is my server 2. Server A is a host name of my server 1 and server B is the host name of my server 2. And I will configure the HA proxy in this machine. This is another machine workstation. So let's install the HA proxy. I have already installed it. So there is no need of installation. So let's go into the configuration file of HA proxy. First, we will configure the front end. Front end space name of your front end server, like uh, uh, app servers, listening all all interface, and on port 80 in this section uh, we will declare our backend server so our default backend server is apps okay now we will uh, create our backend backend apps begin apps in this section we will uh, we will we will create or we will declare we will declare our these two servers okay server space server a dot example dot com another server is server b dot example dot com So we have configured our backend servers. Backend server name is apps. And we have told our HA proxy server that our default backend servers are apps. A double P S. Apps. Now we will restart the HA proxy so it is started now we can check if the 840 is open or not okay So everything is fine. Okay. Let's check if there is any error logs. Fatal error found in configuration.
server expects name and address colon port as argument okay we have to edit the port as well we can also tell our server to check if the port 80 is available or not if the port 80 of server a.example.com will down then the request will be fulfilled by server b let's restart the HA proxy. let's check no still not started okay we have not given the name server a server b we declare like this like this server space server name space server address colon port number and space check now restart the HA proxy yes started HA proxy load balancer okay now let's check if server a dot example dot com is reachable yes it is reachable server b yes it is also reachable now this is server a let's push let's put this text in where wwhtml index.html curl localhost okay we need to start the stdbd service yes this is server a let's add line this is server b where wwwhtml index.html and let's start the stt pd service okay now curl localhost this is server b okay now curl localhost no server is available to handle this request okay let's stop the firewall d service firewall d service let's check if slns is enabled or not oh it is enabled so let's disable this now let's check yeah this is server a this is server b as you can see my first request is my first request was handled by server a another request my second request was handled by server b and server A, server B. Now uh, let's create a for loop to check how the request uh, is processing, how the request is processed how by our two servers. So for I in thousand do curl localhost 
sleep. Hundred. Done. Let's remove the sleep. As you can see, server A, server B, server A, server B, server A, server B. Sleep 1000. Here is a command to check. Server A, server B, server B, A, A, B. This is how the load balanced by HA proxy server. Now let's check if the server A gets down. As you can see, all the requests are handling by server B. If the server A is available, then you can see the request start going to server A A B A B A B A B A B now let's check by stopping the server B now all the request will be handled by server A we can also check on browser like address of our workstation this is server A now let's start this now we can check this is server B this is server B A B A B Thanks for watching this video Please subscribe my channel for another video Thanks for watching